and welcome to Artists at Work. Wassily Kandinsky was a Russian painter and he loved to paint with color, lots of color. But Kandinsky was also a musician. He played the piano and the cello. So when Kandinsky painted, he saw color and he heard music when he saw color. When he heard music, he saw color, and when he saw color, he heard music, or vice versa. You know what I mean. But anyway, Kandinsky also said, you know, color is the keyboard, the eyes are the harmony, the soul is the piano, and the artist's hands are to play the keyboard, which create the vibrancy and the vi vibration within the soul. How about that? Our next artist also paints with beautiful, vibrant, vibrant colors. I would call him a colorist, but I don't think he would. He is amazing what he can do with a paintbrush. So let's meet right now Ted Lawson. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I made it through that one fairly yes, well. Yes, you did. Very good. And how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. Good. Thank you for having me today. Well, My we, pleasure. we are thrilled and already the producer and the cameraman and everybody loves your artwork. Oh, thank you. It's good. very, very exciting. Yeah. This one is a little bit softer in color than the ones on the front down here, but... Yes, you know, they, they may be, but uh, this, this painting, uh, can you guess where this is? Can, you know, <laughs> what I do is I paint people, places, and things, yes. and generally places are landmark locations. So you, you create places, and you, and you make them more exciting probably than what they I really, hope so. the I, ordinary that's person. That's kind of my job yeah. to, to do that. So back to, back to this. This is, can you guess? This is, well, I know it's not uh, the Heinen's in Aurora. Uh -huh. um, let's see, I'm seeing. Um, is that an Italian flag there? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's so, all I know. You're going to have well, to help very, me out. Very good. Uh, the, na the title of the painting is The Venetian. Mm -hmm. And this is St. Mark's Square, uh, uh, Piazza uh, San Marco uh, in, in Venice. So it's the one where all the pigeons are yes. generally. Yes. Uh, this has been painted many times by, uh, by others. Well, I would recognize up here the, yeah, the right. dome. And Exa exactly. Gorgeous. Generally, they're painted in landscape format, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. and I tried that and more you than zoom, once. You like to zoom in a little exactly, bit. Exactly. So I tried that more than once, and it didn't work for me. So finally, I decided I would take a slice out of the middle, and that's exactly what I did, because this so is a very wide-angle photograph uh, that was uh, taken. Uh, generally, I work from photographs, my own photographs, right. from visits, different places in the world. But it's a very large uh, 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 landscape or wide angle mm -hmm. shot. And what I ended up doing was saying, now what is most interesting here? So the, the flag set it off uh, and tried to make uh, an interesting composition out of it. It really did. It, with the red and the white against the beautiful blue sky. Um, yeah, and so, so I tried to get features that might be recognizable and then as always, I, I try to like I try to have people uh, in in uh, in the composition. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's not so stark and isolated. The people bring a warmth. I mean, to me, that's what I see. It looks like a very happy, sunny, warm day. It, it was. It, 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 well, you can tell. Hopefully, <laughs> I, I was able to convey that with mm -hmm. the painting. Oh, so you it, have. It you have turned out. And to be a when I first walked into the room and saw this, I was really struck by the beautiful warm tones in the browns and the green grays. Mm -hmm. Now, a mm -hmm. lot of times artists might think, okay, that's too much of a mud color, but against your soft, soft white, I mean, it's just rich. It's, it's beautifully done. Well, those mousy colors a lot of times end up helping things pop out. They kind of support the e other e colors. Exactly. So yes. I, I like contrast and that, that helps mm -hmm. with that. And, and I learned long ago not to make a shadow solid. Mm -hmm. Generally shadows have to be transparent and they have to have some life behind them because mm -hmm. they're not just a blank curtain. Right. They are something where you have, uh, th there's color in it and there's uh, uh, well, right. uh, some life to it. There's it's depth, not, it's not depth dead. within this, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. uh, shadow, sure. which mm -hmm. a lot of beginners um, struggle with. And, and people working from photographs will do that too mm -hmm. where they, they are, they see a dark spot and they'll mm -hmm. say, oh that's just I'm going to paint it exactly that way. Right. So painting from photographs can be is, very tricky. It's tricky. Yes. So you have to use some artistic license to yes. get around those uh, those big 
uh, dead spaces. Well, and I would think you'd have to have the knowledge and experience to know that this is a photograph and there is a little more detail in there mm -hmm. so that you, you know, you yeah. can't bring that to the table. Exactly. But mm -hmm. um, now you were not always an artist by profession. No, uh, I'm uh, a mechanical engineer. Mm -hmm. I, I went to college. I, went, I was in the Navy. I went to college uh, and I worked as an engineer for an oil company for for many years. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in 2010, I retired. Yay. And along the way... But you were always an artist, I, always, I hear. I always had that feeling that, that, you know, I wanted to draw. I liked drawing. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that was something that was of always of interest to me. Mm -hmm. But about 20 years ago, I decided, you know, I want to paint watercolor. And, and I remember when I was in high school and I had uh, uh, the nuns mm -hmm. uh, at my high school, uh, always said that watercolor is the hardiest medium. I, I agree. So I think it probably is. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Uh, well, Although and I've another, never other, tried Other watercolor. people have said that too. Uh, so uh, hardest medium, I said, that's what that's I want to paint. That's what you want. So it was my challenge. So mm -hmm. I found it. Because a, you have that kind of mind that you yeah, would like to problem I, I guess, solve. I, I guess that's the way mm -hmm. that my mind works. Mm -hmm. uh, I found uh, a teacher. Uh, and uh, the, the, the teacher's name is Betty Elliott. Uh, she recently passed away, but she was my mentor for, for many years. Now, was and she in the Ohio area? Because Ohio, yeah, she's in North Canton, Ohio. Okay. And so she was uh, uh, known uh, throughout Stark County uh, and uh, well represented uh, even across the world. So. Uh, and you studied with a couple other artists well, so I've, along I've the way? I've studied with uh, uh, workshop settings with a local, not a regional artist, uh, 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 Fred Graff. Now mm -hmm. he's from uh, Medina and he's uh, uh, recognized throughout the, the uh, watercolor, the art world mm -hmm. uh, as, a, as a master, uh, Transparent Watercolor Society yes. of America, American Watercolor Society and so on. Uh, Tony Couch, I, I got a lot of inspiration from him, uh, and uh, uh, Gerald Brommer. Now okay. these people all kind of painted and in, in something that was interesting to me. Right. They right. Were they all realists or representational? More, more, type more of? realist. Okay. They weren't, and they weren't Barnes and Flowers. Right. Now that's when right. I. Right. And that's what uh, so many people think about. You know, the sweet little old lady that paints. You know, her uh, her pansies, and those are all good. Exactly. But yeah. when I saw your paintings online, I was shocked when I looked to see they were. All watercolor, and I guess you use mm -hmm. acrylics a little bit. I'll, I'll as use well. a, a highlight uh, a, with very transparent mm -hmm. uh, uh, airbrush so paint. Oh, watercolor. really? Airbrush mm -hmm. also. And but I don't use airbrush. I just use the paint right out of the right out of the bottle. Now I understand you have traveled quite a bit throughout the United States and overseas. Exactly. Where and you get a lot of your references, I mean. Exactly, and uh, so but but one of my favorite places. Well, uh, the big city. Um, Genre is what mm -hmm. interests me. It's what you love. Is right. what, now, what is this? I can't see this. Okay, this one is called Union Square Saturday 2. And it, what it is... This is it, New York? It's New York City, Union Square. Union Square. Uh, I have another painting, uh, Union Square uh, Saturday 1, uh, but it, uh, I, I have work in series. So this one, uh, and this one is... This one is 2. Uh, this is number two, and it's uh, and <laughs> is, I love it. Is two it better than one? Did you well, have to practice on one? Well, number number one, I sold to the North Canton Public Ooh. Library. So, Ooh. did you really? Yeah. So it's Fabulous. in their public uh, in their uh, permanent collection. This this painting was uh, a Saturday uh, about three years ago. Uh, they have activities there, different locations mm -hmm. throughout Union Square. It's a it's a large area, and I was able to. Uh, take a number of photographs and found this one. Mm. I used, I found a large uh, uh, wide angle photograph mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that photograph I, I zeroed in on it to make a, a, a composition of interest. Now do you always use the wide angle lens? I use a wide angle lens taking, capturing a lot of information. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, and that's many, a very good many, idea. Many, very good idea. Uh, many images right. and then from that I will review and find something uh, that's interesting. Well, you could almost do a progression if you wanted to do like a triptych or yep. a series. Yeah, exactly. You know? I, 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 I could do that. That's or pull out your drawer and say, okay, this year I'm going to do 
maybe what was over here. I don't know. But you exactly that's that's exactly and that's the way I work. But I mm -hmm. try to try to use uh, some principles of design where I end up with um, a, a central interest mm -hmm. uh, and something uh, that that might be interesting to others. So so now this is interesting um, listening to you because you are very much of an artist that approaches the canvas in an organized fashion. You know from beginning to end pretty much where you're going oh, exactly. with the image. Exactly. I, I do. I, <laughs> I, I know what I'm going to paint when I start, but mm -hmm. there, are always, there are always problems that arise during mm -hmm. that, but uh, generally I know what I'm going to paint. I know where it's going to end. Yes. I know where the beginning is. Well, well now with watercolor, let's say you were working on something, um, you, maybe you didn't like the blue sky. This would never happen to you probably. Now correct me if I'm wrong. You wouldn't say halfway through, oh, I think I want to paint a sunset in there. <laughs> Have uh, well, there no. snow? <laughs> no, no, that, you're right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't you, want to do that. Would I, I'd, do that. I would already know what I'm, mm -hmm. going, to, mm -hmm. what I'm going to paint. Mm -hmm. uh, but maybe painting a sunset uh, on this in a different, uh, from a different angle. Okay. But, but because not, I've heard a lot mm -hmm. of artists say they, they get into a painting and sometimes the painting will take a curve, uh -huh. and they really don't know where the painting is going, but they allow themselves to go down a different uh, avenue. Uh, exactly. Many, so, some that I know actually start by splashing color on the, on the canvas, and then something on the canvas speaks to them, and mm -hmm. they go in that direction. They but, see <clears throat> something there. Watercolor doesn't really lend itself to that, or does it? Well, s to, to some people it does, but okay. not to me. I, I, I remember, you know, there was a little trick that, pe that, that our teacher uh, showed us, and it was taking a piece of saran wrap and putting it on wet, uh, a wet ground. Oh. And uh, what that did was produce some kind of a background that people would paint into. Oh, I hated I it. <laughs> I hated that. I never did it. I you tried. Know, I had that assignment, but I said I don't like this, and I'm not going to do it. So. so you crumbled it up and probably threw well, it I, yeah, away. Yeah, that's true. And this, this is another <laughs> one from uh, New York City. Uh, this is uh, Broadway. And uh, it's called uh, Afterglow on Broadway because mm. of all the lights that are mm -hmm. shining and reflecting. Uh, I love street crossings. Yes. I love the zebra crossing, you yes. know, the many well, you, stripes. You know, in planning the little talk about Kandinsky, mm -hmm. you, re you have such a vibrancy in your own use of color. I uh -huh. mean, you wouldn't, would you call yourself a colorist in a way or no? No, not not really. Not but really. Not not really. Uh, more, I'm more realistic, more uh, representational painting mm -hmm. or painter, uh, and I just like to create things that that are uh, exciting to me, and and I think that they might be of interest to others too. Mm -hmm. And I try to use uh, combinations of colors that that do provide uh, some interest. Uh, oh, this is fabulous! A night scene. Yeah, yeah. it's a night. Yeah, I, I, I like night. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that I may do a whole series that's called noir. Right. You know, but well, have because you, I do many, I do many things there. Have you ever I, painted on site in the night? No, a nocturnal no, painting? No, I don't. I, you know, it, because I'm standing in the middle of the street many times, <laughs> and that, that doesn't really that's work out. That's not conducive, yes. It's not very conducive. <laughs> I have, have one that I'm really actually standing in the middle of Market Avenue in, in Canton, and, and the cars are coming and going. So. To stand there and yeah. try to paint, it, it yeah. doesn't it doesn't work for me. Right. So you I use a, I use my my sketchbook, my camera mm -hmm. is my uh, my my source. Well, and you source. also you often paint action shots too with these cars and people walking right. and exactly yeah and exactly. So uh -huh. it would be kind yeah. of silly to yeah. yeah yeah hold it doesn't that pose. yeah hold that pose it it, it doesn't work it that doesn't way. It doesn't work. Not, but not you're going back to New York City. I am. I'm going to New York City uh, uh, on Friday, preparing for uh, the five borough. Uh, bike tour mm -hmm. in New York City where we mm -hmm. go to the five boroughs of New York City well, that's in exciting. a group. That's exciting. To, so I'm riding a bicycle through all five boroughs. That's it great. Takes, it's about that's 50 good. miles, so I guess. That's a nice way. That's probably another passion of yours. Oh, exactly. Love. Well, exactly. And I, I have a mount for my camera on my bicycle. So I'll be taking, Do you? I'll be taking, <gasps> I'll be taking photographs while I'm going through these five boroughs. Uh, wide angle shots. I'll great come back and review idea. later. Great idea. Come back later and review, and I, I might find something of interest. So you're an artist, always at work in one way or the other. I try to be. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 uh, I really enjoy that. That's I, I, like I said, I retired about three years mm -hmm. ago, and when and your I wife can go with you. Well, she can, but uh, she has other interests. Mm -hmm. She's retired. She's she retired a, too. As a she's a Spanish, Spanish teacher. Spanish teacher in the Akron Canton area. And in Canton, uh, right? Canton okay. City, right? Inner City, Canton McKinley High School. Do you ever do portraits? 
uh, I have of my daughter. I've mm -hmm. done uh, port portraits of others, uh, but uh, my that's not my it's not my, your my focus. First one. No, not now, my first one. These book. are too big. I don't know really what we're looking at here. Okay. Well, this one this is is very uh, is an interesting piece because we traveled to uh, India mm -hmm. in two thousand and four, uh, and during that trip we had a we had a, a side trip that took us to. Nepal. So we mm. were going to try to go and see uh, the Himalayas. Many go, artists love to go there, I right, hear. Right. It, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Loved loved India. Went to Nepal. We went to the town called Kathmandu. So that's the capital. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, learned a whole bunch about it. But this is called Freak Street, Kathmandu. Freak Street is a place that that's, has the name because uh, in the 60s, when the Beatles were going to mm. India, they were going to India, they ended up going to Nepal because Nepal uh, allowed, it was legal to have hashish. It was in, it was in uh, ceremonial uh, uh, use. So people found that it was, hey, this is the place we can go yes. and, you know, and so they were, called, they were called freaks. So. <laughs> And you can Google that today, and you'll find Freak many Street. Freak Street. It's Freak Street, Kathmandu. Wow! So, so how long were you in Nepal? Uh, I think three days. Was we, that we mostly went. just for a, a painting? No, it was trip? just it was just a trip. So right. I used those trips, and mm -hmm. I captured all this information. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, you know, it took me four or five years to ever paint that. Amazing! So I, Amazing. I have all this this resource right. material. Right. Right. Now you take commissions, or yes, I do. I do commission and. Uh, so anyway, that's that's another that's a whole other thing. Uh, oh my goodness! So, do you want me to pick up one? I of was going to say, here? let's look at the the All one right. next to you. These All are right. nice and heavy. It's your turn to All right. to pick it up. Okay, this so looks I like don't another know which nice one that scene. Is. Um, a horse and buggy. Oh, it looks like oh, New this York one. City. This is this is called cabs. Mm -hmm. uh, I was doing a, uh, a, a a night bike tour last summer in. Uh, lower Manhattan. Oh, isn't that scary? Riding your bike at night. Well, I was with a. That was with a Manhattan. group. It was. It was. A, it was an organized tour, and we went real slow. But uh, <laughs> I took many photographs, and at the conclusion of the ride, I was back in Midtown near our hotel, and this image, another wide-angle image, was there, and that was the thing that that was uh, that that came out of that whole evening. This one, this one piece. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful with the purples and you've had the blues and I mean almost the whole palette. Every color is here. It's just stunning. Well, thank you very much. I, I, I really like that. It's interesting. It was, uh, it didn't, it, it was one that, that came out fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. But there was a lot of drawing in it. Uh, all my I paintings. I don't see as much um, hard edges as some of your other ones, although the lines on the street. Mm -hmm. Are certainly very straight and a and little bit hard edged, but um, it looks like you've let the watercolor flow a little more in this one. I, I, I did, I did. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting the way uh, paintings uh, occur. Mm -hmm. uh, some there's some lifting. Mm -hmm. I did some lifting in here mm -hmm. that you may not be able to detect, but uh, uh, now lifting, I, I never I never I never use white. I never use white. I'm all, anything that's white on here is the white of the. Now, paper. what would the lifting be? Okay, so I can either, there, there's a lifting that you can do with a brush, mm -hmm. or I found uh, uh, you, you an eraser. Put this down now so we can see your face. Okay. Or an eraser? Uh, while uh, the yes. paint and is the ink eraser. While the paint is still wet, you... No, dr it, let, it, let it dry. Oh. I can let, I can let the, the paint dry, and, uh, and it will, uh, uh, and then I can, I f I, it took me a while to figure that mm -hmm. out. Uh, but and I've adapted tools so to it. So you've invented this process. I've a little invented. Bit. I've invented this this particular kind of of lifting. But uh, it's see. it's mine. Then do you paint over? What, Maybe a little bit of uh, the leftover paint. You might Could be. paint over it and get a transparency. Maybe exactly, exactly. Oh. So there's a, there's a lot of a uh, lot of things. Like I said, it's it's problem solving. Mm -hmm. So lifting mm -hmm. is one of one of the tools for mm -hmm. for problem solving. Well, that's that. the thing about um, uh, painters. I'm mm -hmm. hoping that this all this problem solving that we're doing and struggling mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. creating, I'm hoping it'll um, 
help us in the Alzheimer's years. You know? Well, you know, it, I, I do hope so. It's kind you of know, like a crossword, is, working a crossword, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. It's it's one of those things where uh, it, I, I believe that it's it's very important to stay active and mm -hmm. keep your mind active. Mm -hmm. And and doing paintings like this are uh, things that allow us to use our intellect to do yes to do um, to do things and keep us keep us sharp. Yes, in a beautiful way. Right. And you have some paintings that I you're have, uh, almost standing on exactly. down yeah. here. Right. So this one uh, is is a painting I uh, was was saying earlier that I do uh, I do paintings and when I sell them uh, I will turn them into a limited edition. So Ooh, this is looks like Christmas time in New York City. It is. It, this is. Or is that Paris? No, it's 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 uh, it's New York. New York. And it's right at Grand Central Station. So it's. A, I don't know if it, with the plastic. I, I hope don't know the camera if you can, can see that. Uh, nevertheless, the uh, the painting is of uh, Grand Central Station at at 39th and Park Avenue, mm -hmm. and it just happens to be uh, uh, a scene mm -hmm. captured. Randomly, quickly, mm -hmm. and I think it was from a video that I was doing. Oh, really? And I clipped it from the video. I I liked the position of of all of the features, mm -hmm. and and that's when mm -hmm. I decided that that's what I was going to paint. So I painted it. I showed it one time. Now, video from your camera, or from my from a camera, right? It was from. I mean, your your. I'm sorry, I was going to say your phone, but this uh, uh, this one was from a little uh, little flip cam. So Great. It, it, nothing nothing elaborate. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy, but oh. it was it was one of those things that just allowed itself. It spoke to me. Yes. This is what I wanted to paint. And I love the signs that you put in here. I try to. Put I love those. signs. I love I love all the the little. Calligraphy yes. and things like yes. that in there, so. and this is perfect because the orange and the blue, the complementary mm -hmm. colors mm -hmm. and slashes of red. Um, I just love it. I love it. Yeah. I love all the light. And uh, well, well, thank you. I, I do too. And, and like I said, the uh, the painting was was one of those that's uh, that was sold, and it was. it was it was. So I turned it into a limited edition. Um, this is another New York City landmark. This almost looks like Chagrin Falls. Well, it could be, but uh, this is town? it. It could be. This is a very old uh, ale house in uh, in Manhattan, in mm -hmm. the East Village. It's called McSorley's, as you can tell. And uh, Clyde Singer, who was a uh, resident uh, and accomplished artist in the Stark County area, uh, painted this many times. Oh, I really? Paint, I painted this once, mm -hmm. and the first time I showed it, a collector oh, bought it. So that's fabulous! From, Congratulations! From that, thank you. And from that, I've created this uh, this limited edition of uh, of, of oh, artwork. So that's lovely. That's and speaking of Stark County, weren't you in a show, a wonderful show, there? I forget the name of it. Well, the Canton it, National the, Art Show, oh, it's the Canton. or the the May Show? No, it, I think it was the Canton National Show. It could be. Was it yeah. through? December through March. Oh, that was. Uh, you were the featured artist. Am I getting this right? I was in uh, March the first at Second April Gallery. Mm -hmm. uh, I was at. Uh, Let's hold up another one while you're right. talking. I was at uh, uh, Second April Gallery. I was a featured artist from March first through March thirty first, and uh, I was, as I said, the featured artist. And one of the one of the paintings that was that was a part I'm of that. So sorry. That's all right. Uh, there was a part of that was kind of the headline was a piece that was called uh, City Light, and and it was sold that first night. Oh, so, you've uh, had some great. Um, yeah, right. yeah, I was I was very great fortunate luck to or be. Great some fortunate times. Uh, right, uh, and this one this is another New York City scene. This mm -hmm. is uh, uh, Washington Square Park, uh, and, and this arch is based on the. Uh, Arc de Triomphe in mm -hmm. Paris, mm -hmm. but it's a, a landmark. It's on the NYU campus, uh, New York University. My daughter graduated from NYU with her uh, business, uh, gradu graduate degree in business. Uh, I've been there many times. Friend of mine, friends of mine, said, uh, "Our son is in law school at NYU. Do you have any paintings of, you know, of Washington Square because oh. it's right on." So, so did you paint this for them? I did. I did, and then they uh, they accepted it right away. Oh, it's lovely, and I like the square format. I mean, I, you know, I, squares I, are one of my favorite. <laughs> you know, that's it's not mine. No, uh, square is not my favorite. No? The favorite of mine is is the uh, the horizontal, mm -hmm. and it has a special uh, aspect ratio. Uh, 
really? speaking engineering. See, I was going to say, an engineer, you would pick up right. on all so that. I, yeah, I, I, I learned that, and it became something that was, uh, uh, was interesting to me. Mm -hmm. And I try to make all my paintings almost approximate exactly that aspect ratio, the, the ratio of the height to the width. Oh, that's but the, something but the I square. Never think this about. one, this one worked out quite well because of the uh, of the uh, the the day, the time mm -hmm. of day, mm -hmm. the location, it looks uh, the very activity. Fresh and spring like. It was actually. Mm -hmm. It was like the you know the first part of April. Well, see, so you captured that. Well, thank you very much. Very that nice. was that was my job to do that. <laughs> to, to, and to my job is to guess the title. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you, you, I think, and nice. maybe I already told you it was Washington Square Park. That's the Very name nice. of it. Now, if somebody wanted to purchase your limited editions or maybe your originals, where would they find you? They would find me at. You can uh, put this down now. Okay, they would find I mean, do me. Do you have a gallery or a? Um, well, my my gallery studio? is at at my home. Mm -hmm. uh, my studio is at my home. My gallery uh, is in my house. I have enough uh, open wall space and easels that I can uh, exhibit work mm -hmm. right there. Uh, you can find me on my website, which is tedlawsonartist.com. Okay, and we'll we'll put that up towards the end. Okay. And you have another show, I think, coming up in the Box Gallery. Oh, the Box Gallery, right? The Box in Gallery Akron? is uh, is a representation of the artists of Rubber City, mm -hmm. and they have a, a location in uh, the Summit Art Space, and it's right adjacent to the Akron Society of Artists. And I have uh, a, a gallery show there uh, in in October. And it, it is called, uh, it's, the title is Urban Lights. So Great. the work that I have here will be possibly be a part of that, but I'm trying to create new yes. work as, as time yes. goes by to, to fill up the space. Right. And, right. Uh, you so will have new work, I know it. So I'm, I, I have I'm, a sense you'll have some magnificent Well, things. you know, that funny thing, a couple of these pieces that I was going to enter into that, they already sold. So. Oh, what a problem. What a darn <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah. So yeah. now, where, where would you like to be or see yourself? I mean, you still look young. You've got a lot of energy. Where do you want to be in 10 years from now? Where do you want to take your artwork? Uh, to gallery representation. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I'm thinking, well, wouldn't it be nice to be in New York? But there's difficulties with that. Yes. Uh, s See, rental space is yes, is it's expensive, ex expensive, and then tr and then then mailing, shipping, yeah. handling. You know, so there would be very little uh, uh, income from right. that. But nevertheless, that's kind of what I I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I, I want mm -hmm. to do. I, well, tell your daughter to get busy and represent you. Well, yeah, she's <laughs> gonna yeah she's going to you know she's going to be she in can do that. law school. She's going to be graduating mm -hmm. soon, so. Maybe she'll be, she can she'll be, be my, my, uh, my, my yes. manager. Uh -huh. Well, we are out of time. Wow, that Already? went Already? Isn't yeah. that yeah. fast? What that a show. And your artwork is beautiful. Please well, come and see Ted Lawson down in the Akron Canton area. Right. Look at his website. And you too can own one of these beautiful pieces. Okay, let's wait. Well, bye. 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 Thank you for coming. That's my pleasure. <laughs>